President Mamadou Buhari during his last trip to the United States appealed to the US President Barack Obama to help Nigeria recover and repatriate about 150 billion US dollars allegedly stolen by past government officials. You'll be thief, and I'll be thief. You'll be rogue, and I'll be rogue. You did steal, and I'll steal. Buhari insists on probing the administration of his predecessor. Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. You know His special advisor on media and public affairs, Femi Adishino, clarified that the probe will not extend beyond the Goodluck Jonathan administration. Adishino affirmed that the federal government will not waste its time probing the administrations of former President Olusha Gwabasanjo, Abdul Salam Abaka, Sani Abacha, and Ibrahim Babangida. So, so, so you have not asked us to start from 1966, and it becomes a joke. Look. Why are we probing? Why are we stopping our probe? You know, with the United Administration because it was is that the administration that handed over to us. Now that we have seen what has happened, we are going to ask questions. But for us to for you to ask us to probe uh, the Yara uh, Administration or Jonathan or Administration is ridiculous because if those who took over from them did not find it necessary to probe them, we are going to limit our probe. To the government, I don't know about to us. We say we don't want any distraction. We don't want any circus. BDP is basically a corrupt party, and they ruined the economy of this country. Now, more than 60, 70 percent of the revenue of the country is going has gone into corruption. So we need money. So if they have really stolen the money. Where is the money? We are not talking about the punishment. Where is the money? Because you need the money to really provide security, provide uh, infrastructure. infrastructure and employment. The proving of the past administration is part of his campaign promise to Nigerians. Uh, so one find it very ridiculous, you know, that uh, some people can even attempt to, to stop him from that probe. It is very important, you know, we always say in this country we want good governance, we want uh, democracy, we, uh, you know, we mix them with sentiments. A thief is a thief. Why don't you bring it the night and leave it in my house? They should prosecute it so that others will learn from that. To, 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 I mean, I mean the issue is, it will serve a deterrent to others, but nobody will be spared. A thief must go to, uh, to, uh, 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 to court. The now is not too Before leaving office in May 2015, former President Goodluck Jonathan argued that any probe by the new government will be seen as a witch aunt if limited to his administration. The major opposition party, the PDP caucus in the Senate, recently accused President Buhari's government of selective anti-corruption campaign. No, there should be no witch hunting. When you say ministers stole six billion dollars, I mean you are not talking to kindergartens. You are talking to Nigerians who are very much politically articulate and who are very much politically alert. So they are going to ask you. I mean, we want the name of this minister. Now Bari told us the trial of the looters will start very soon. I am one of those waiting for the trial of those looters. Let's have the trial. But before trial, there must be judicious pro into what we say they have stolen in a manner that does not bring vendetta and does not bring injustice and does not bring unfair play. They're just trying to make um, Nigerians believe that they're ready to fight this anti-corruption. I don't see anything General Muhammad Buhari is doing about this anti-corruption. What they're looking for in Buhari in fighting corruption is what they will not get. Because like our party actually said, it's selective. Corruption must be above the board. It leaves moral doubt as to the sincerity of the current administration if it insists that it will probe the immediate past administration and not probe all administrations. It is also reasonable to say we are starting with the immediate past administration, but should never foreclose the possibility of probing beyond the immediate past administration.
Jonathan's recent visit to President Buhari and the subsequent visit of the General Abdul Salami Abubakar led Peace Committee to the President also fueled speculation that the committee might be putting pressure on the President to take things easy with his predecessor. Our existing laws, everybody is innocent until he's proven guilty. So again, our commitment, as I said, is not, is not to, to intimidate or to frighten anybody. The president, uh, the former president's commitment and what he did still remains spectacular. The move pitched the committee against most Nigerians who questioned the relevance of the committee after the 2015 general elections. For Reverend to come out, and I was even surprised for him to come out and say uh, those kind of things. Kuka, yeah, he, he, he shouldn't have come out and say things like this because you see, that's the reason why they are peace uh, committee. It's called peace committee. Definitely, they're just trying to like, okay, fine, let let uh, peace reign. But you see, there are things. The only way peace will reign is by bringing these people to book. If you see the colony or those people who say they are they 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 are promoting peace in their own way, then you see that. Take some of them, 50% or more of them have been corrupt and their 50% may be corruptible. So I wouldn't understand that. But as a matter of, they say elders. Yes, you are bound to respect elders for what they are in terms of age. But <laughs> does that reflect no, not being corrupt? But how far will the president be able to spread his dragnet? The days ahead will show if President Buhari's anti-corruption crusade will yield meaningful results. Ayodilu Zubakun, TVC News, Lagos. Bro, bro, bro.